One of the things I do is spend a lot of my time developing products to help people be more successful gardening. And today I want to share two with you I think we knocked out of the park. My wife has a kitchen garden or vegetable garden right outside of her kitchen. Now this consists of raised beds and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven raised beds that she can grow herbs in, she can grow some vegetables in, a few tomato plants, pepper plants, lettuce, maybe some sugar snaps and things like that. Something that's easy to access and easy for her to work because she can go out there and spend just a few minutes and to be honest with you, she can grow a lot of a certain things in these raised beds. Now this is her garden, not mine. Mine's up there at the barn. Mine's about a quarter of an acre. Mine's a big garden. I like to grow a lot of things like corn and okra and I get kind of serious with my garden, okay? I get that. But for a lot of people that want to grow a raised bed garden system, they struggle. And I have come up with a couple of products that I think is going to make gardening a lot easier. She's constantly asking me what I need to fertilize, how do I need to fertilize, what do I need to do with my raised beds. So I got to think if this could be a problem, because don't everybody love soil science or the nitty gritty of gardening like I do. So I developed these two products here for people that want to grow a garden, but they don't want to get knee deep in soil science and all that kind of stuff. They just want to know what to do when to be successful growing a garden. So what we have here, is this product right here which is ideal for raised beds it is a five four three and that's the analysis of it organic fertilizer so i go to the big box stores and i start looking around for products and i find a lot of these small packages and some of them are organic some of them are or not and i start looking at the analysis in them and there are such things in there such as rock phosphate such as bone meal such as feather meal. All those products are fine if you're growing perennials or you're growing something that's got a long life. But I can tell you bone meal, rock phosphate, and feather meal are not going to break down quick enough to be able to grow vegetables. We know vegetables are a short-term crop. So we need something that's going to hit it boom, quick, get those nutrients to it so those plants can take it up. These, these uh, fertilizers that they sell at the big box stores for growing vegetables that are organic simply do not work because they take too long to break down. Now if you're growing daylilies, bone meal is an excellent source of uh, phosphorus. But it takes a long time for it to break down. So we developed this product that's going to be ideal for growing vegetables. This right here is composted hen manure. Not chicken manure, but hen manure. When I say chicken manure, it's not broilers. Hen manure is a lot higher in calcium than your regular chicken manure broiler manure is. And this is composted. So this is an ideal product for growing vegetables because we know vegetables such as tomatoes and peppers love calcium. Calcium is what keeps them from getting that blossom end rot. So I'm going to show you a system today that's easy. <clears throat> and it's easy to understand because you may not want to know a lot about different fertilizers you may not care and I get that that's okay so I'm gonna show you a simple solution to be able to grow your vegetable garden so we've got a four by eight raised bed that we want to plant sugar snaps in and for a four by eight raised beds we want to put two cups Mama. rounded slap up and what I got here is solo cups so we want to round these solo cups all the way up and we want to put two solo cups sprinkled Mama all over this raised bed just kind of sprinkle it out get it even now after we sprinkle the the fertilizer out we want to work it in just a little bit we got some help today with a little tie tie Just kind of work it into the top two to three inches of the soil. Today we're going to plant sugar snaps. Organ sugar pod pea. 
We got a nice trellis in this raised bed and it's ideal to plant these sugar snaps. We'll run us a little trench right next to our trellis there. And we're going to open up our pea pack and plant it. Just kind of shake them out. And these sugar snaps will grow up in that trellis to support them. And we can have some good sugar snap peas to eat in our salad. Cover them up. Oh, probably somewhere around an inch. Now here's where it gets easy. There's two parts to this, and this completes all your fertilizer requirements. So we're going to come back in about three weeks, and we're going to take the same amount of two rounded up solo cups of this organic fertilizer, and we're going to spread out again on close to the root system where those peas are at. In addition to that, every 10 days, we take MicroBoost. MicroBoost, and we put it in a watering can, about four ounces to a gallon, and simply just pour it on there. Now the second part to it is, mix you up about four ounces of MicroBoost in a watering can, and you ain't really got to worry a whole lot because you're not going to burn with this stuff. And this is your total miners package. This is everything that's not in your chicken manure that you can supplement your garden with. Mix this up in the water in a can. And what you're going to do here is you're going to pour this on your vegetables about every 10 days. Make them nice and green and grow. Well, there you have a simple fertility recipe for your raised bed gardens. A four by eight raised bed, two rounded up solo cups at planting, sprinkled throughout the bed, worked into the soil. Halfway through its life cycle, on sugar snaps, we're probably looking at three to four weeks, we'll come back, two more rounded cups, solo cups, sprinkled in the raised bed again. Every 10 days, we take four ounces of MicroBoost, put in a watering can with about a gallon, gallon and a half of water, and we give it a shot of MicroBoost, kind of water your plants in good. And there you have it, a natural solution to your fertility problems, growing vegetables in a raised bed. Simple, effective, and safe. If you're interested in vegetable garden and you like to grow vegetables, hit that subscribe button below. Subscribe to our channel. We give you helpful tips and ways to grow your food in a natural, good way. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time on Gardening with Greg.